Namaste, y'all. My name's Carl. I'm a visa officer here in Mission India, and I am here to talk about student visas today. It's okay. I'm going to lose the tie. Where did you go to school, and what did you study? I went to Northern Michigan University, go Wildcats, and I did a double major in international relations and modern languages. Why did you choose that school? So I'm from Virginia, and Northern Michigan was about as far away as I could go without entering Canada. And I really wanted to be independent. I come from a big family. I was really ready to be out on my own. Did you study abroad or go overseas during college? I did. I actually studied abroad in Vietnam.、Uh, I'm a big fan of linguistics and learning languages, and so it was really cool to be in a country so different culturally and linguistically from the United States. What was something that surprised you about college? So I think for me, one of the biggest surprises is just how different college is from high school. Like, there's no cool kids group in college, and there's a ton of social organizations for students on campus. So, like for example, you know, I'm gay, so there was an LGBT student organization on campus, and it was so important to me because it gave me this instant community and this instant group of friends. I really recommend students who are considering studying in the United States、uh, to look into this. They have a lot of groups for ethnic and religious minorities, and it can just make such a profoundly important and positive impact on your. Um, your experience. What advice do you have to student visa applicants from India? That's an easy one.、Uh, so please, 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 no more memorized scripts or memorized speeches at the window. As consular officers, we hear these rehearsed speeches so often, and within about ten seconds, we can usually tell when someone's giving us a script. When we ask questions like, "Tell me why you chose that university," what we really want is for the applicant to tell us their story in their own voice. As to what was motivating them to apply for that school,、uh, you know, so often we hear people who are giving us facts from the university webpage, and that's not what we're asking for. So what we really want is just students come in, please be genuine, and you know, during the interview, it's going to just serve you so much better than trying to rehearse some script that you think we want to hear. What do you think students from India should know about college life in the United States? So I used to work as a tutor at the language lab at my university, and I remember helping teach English to a lot of the foreign students that were there on campus.、Uh, it was a really great experience for me,、um, but it just reminded me how important having really advanced English language skills are for a successful college career.、Um, you know, some of the things I think is, you know, if you're feeling a little bit insecure in your English skills, just make sure that you know there's intensive English classes that you can take before you go into a university program, and a lot of universities actually offer this. Most professors are going to expect you to be able to keep up with the coursework and the lectures. So really, make sure that your English skills are ready for the rigor of studying in the United States. Do you have any advice for parents of Indian students in the U.S.? One of the best things my parents ever did for me was they told me no. I was 18. I had just gotten into this private university up in Washington D.C. I felt like it was the perfect school for me. The math just didn't math. It just you know it was just too expensive. I was really disappointed at the time, but as an adult, I'm so thankful to them. I still went to a great university. I still got a great education. Still in my dream job.、Uh, so I just would say, like to you know both the parents and the students alike, there's no one single path to success. You can go to a lot of different schools and still turn out to have a great, successful career. So, look into a school that both meets your interests academically, but also doesn't overcommit your family financially. Finally, what's your favorite thing about India?、Uh, I would definitely have to say the sights, the Taj Mahal. I mean, super incredible. Thanks for joining us, y'all, for Meet the Consuls. I hope to see y'all at the visa window.